Okay, so as you trade the markets, you're going to generate transactions and tracking them on Stockopedia in the folio section is a really fantastic thing to do. And I want to show you how to do this manually. We do have a portfolio Im importer, so you can actually add an entire portfolio at once. But day to day, you're more likely to be adding a single transaction. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, let me create a portfolio, transaction folio, and choose the benchmark, etc., and create it. Now, I'm going to add all of these manually to show you the transaction form. First of all, I'm going to add a deposit. So this is just, let's say my portfolio started with an amount of 30,000 pounds and I can save that as a cash deposit which may have happened on a certain date in the past. Let's say I got a nice Christmas present uh, of 30 grand. Um, there you go. Immediately it's tracked and the valuation changes to 30,000 pounds. Now let's say I started to buy some stocks from the beginning of the year. We can go add transactions and click buy. Right? And let's say I bought on early in January some Vodafone. Now, instantly you'll get the results in the search box for either UK listing or the American ADR. Let's say I bought this in the UK and I can then enter the number of shares that I bought at whatever price. So let's say I bought a thousand shares at the price on that date of 157.98 pence. As you can see, this is actually showing you the, the price on that date from our price histories which, and if you change the date, it will show you the relevant price there. If it's a foreign stock, it will show you the FX rate, which can be automatically added as well. So this rapidly helps you to get your data into the system. And these kind of usability features are really wonderful and specific to Stockopedia. So let me add that, and that shows you there, we can immediately see the Vodafone is showing up as a holding. Let me do that one more time. Uh, add, uh, buy, let's say we bought some uh, Pan-African resources and again we bought another, let's say we bought 20,000, 1,000 shares of that, 20,000 shares of that on a certain date in the past, let's say the beginning of February at a certain time, you can add the commission and tax and that's that done. So you can see getting this data in there is very, very easy. And But let's say you wanted to add something, but you weren't sure whether you wanted to buy it yet, but you wanted to track it in the same portfolio. Well, you don't have to add a transaction. You can just add a stock. So let me add a stock. Let's say I was Royal Dutch Shell and I want to and click add to folio. And there you can see it. This one will not be showing up with a valuation in the table below. But you can see this is updating. It will update every day. So you can see there instantly the cost of each of your holdings, the value, and also the gain as a percentage um, or, or loss since the point of purchase. This really is how to get some of those key transactions in. You can also obviously log your sales. If you want to, there is a little cog icon on the right of every row. And if you click it, and click add transaction, you can load up that form for that stock and uh, add any dividends or uh, sale transactions as you wish. And if there were any other sort of more complicated transactions, you can deal with them there. Um, once you've added lots of transactions, you may want to review them uh, for one position or for many. So you can go to the transactions tab and filter by either type, buys or sells, deposits, withdrawals, or by security. And if you want to generate a report just between a couple of dates, click this icon, which gives you a start and end date for, let's say you want to look at a financial year or you want to look at a historical year and analyze your transactions there. It could be for tax purposes or anything else. So it's a really, really nice, flexible uh, way of dealing with all your historical data, uh, giving you an absolutely lovely valuation. That's really it that I wanted to talk about, about transactions. And I hope that some of these utilities will be very helpful at speeding the way that you get your data up here so that you can get and start using a lot of our analytics and research tools um, as that's really what it's all about.